of a Florentacular Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to a special Halloween edition of Florin. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com, the spookiest place to learn Photoshop. In today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how to make amazing face paint in Photoshop. So we're gonna show you how to make all of the colors under the rainbow as well as black and white. So you're gonna be suited for creating any type of look. We're including a special brush that's gonna make it look like you have a painted on effect. And we're gonna show you how to blur your effect into the picture to make it look completely realistic. We got a great tutorial. Let's hunt our way into Photoshop. So here in Photoshop, the first thing we're gonna do is load our custom brush. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the assets for this tutorial, you can download the image as well as this special brush. So we're gonna go ahead and load the brush. So we're gonna go to window and down to brushes. And then here in our little menu item, we're gonna go to import brushes. And then I'm gonna go to the Flurn face paint Dot abr. So again, this is included in your download in the description right down below. So let's go ahead and click on open and we're gonna open this up and you can see we've got a Flurn face paint brush. Super cool. Now that we have our brush selected, it's time to work with colors. Just go to layer down to new adjustment layer and over to hue slash saturation. Hit, hit okay and then click on this colorize button. Now with colorize, we're gonna bring our lightness down a little bit we're gonna bring our saturation up and here you can see I can just start choosing colors. So I can adjust these colors very easily here. We're gonna invert our layer mask and then start painting right here on our subject. So if I wanted some blue right here on our subject, look how easy this is to make. I can paint the blue right here on our subject and this brush is giving me a bit of like a, you know, an effect like it's actual face paint, which is super, super cool. So in this case, we can actually just continue to change our color here. And I wanna go with something that's maybe a little bit on the brown side. So, cause we're gonna create a dog effect. It's gonna be super cool. So we're gonna create something on the like brown side. And this is really nice cause it's just an adjustment layer. So you can just paint black or white on it. So I'm just painting black on my adjustment layer now. Okay, we're gonna make it look like you've got a, you're like a dog, a little puppy dog with a, there we go, like a brown area right over your eye. Super cute. And again, if you paint like over the eye, you know, like over the white part of the eye or something like that, no big deal. Just go in and then paint black on the layer mask. So it's just a layer mask we're painting on here. This brush is really nice. There we go. And I even like to leave a little bit of like the space where it looks like, hey, maybe we didn't fill it in all the way. You know what I mean? Like right there just gives it a little bit more realistic effect. Now, we're also gonna create a little bit of an eyebrow right above our subject's eye. Here we go. There we go. And you can see all of the detail from your subject through this effect. There you go. You're gonna get a little one over there and a little one over there. So we're looking pretty good here. The next thing I wanna make is a tongue hanging out of my subject's mouth. So what we're gonna do is just create a new hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's go to layer down to new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Okay, again, we just click on this colorize button. I'm gonna bring my saturation up, my lightness down a little bit, and I can work with my hue here. Okay, and then we're gonna create a little like tongue that's kind of wagging out here. Now I'm gonna focus on the highlights and shadows and things like that in just a minute. For now, I wanna get like the base colors in, there we go, in my composition. All right, and I wanna start with the colors, makes it a little bit easier, and then you can put black and white on it over top when you're done. Okay, fantastic. Our dog effect is coming together. The next thing I wanna do is create white. Now, white is a little bit different. What we wanna do is target our subject's skin color and then just make it really, really bright. So easy to do, we're gonna grab an adjustment layer again. So we go to layer, down to new adjustment layer. Okay, over to hue slash saturation. But this time we don't wanna use the colorize function. What we wanna do is choose where it says master. I wanna go down to reds because we all have a lot of red in our skin. We wanna choose our eyedropper and go ahead and click on the subject's face that targets just those reds. 
And then we're gonna just simply bring our lightness all the way up. Now, the only thing about this is it can look a little bit flat. So I wanna make sure it's not as visible in the shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and name these. Okay, so here in the white for layer, I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click and drag this slider from the left to the right. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make this layer not as visible in the shadows. And it's just gonna give you a little bit more subtle effect, make it look more realistic. All right, so we'll just bring it right about there and hit okay. Now again, on my layer mask, I just wanna invert this. So Control or Command I on the layer mask. And then we just start painting in where we want this to be visible. There we go. And I'm really trying to treat this like it's paint, you know what I mean? So if it, we get a little bit of a cross, you know, like where one area kind of goes over top of another area, I'm pretty okay with that. Like, cause I, I don't want it to look like too perfect, uh, you know, cause things can start to just look kind of like Photoshop-y if they're too perfect sometimes. So I'm totally okay if it's like a little bit on the messy side. But of course, this is just on a layer mask. So you can just paint black or white on your layer mask to make it visible or invisible. There we go. All righty. We'll just make it come right up to about there. Super cute. This is so fun. So not only could you use this for like holiday cards and things like that, but you could also use this like as a mock-up, you know, like if you were thinking about painting your face or something, you could do it here in Photoshop in just a couple minutes. And then when it came for real life, you would already know what you're gonna do. There we go. Fantastic. Once we put the black outlines in here, everything is gonna come together really, really nice. See how this brush that I'm using kind of creates a little bit of a, like a natural look to it anyway. It kind of looks like it's being painted on there. That's a really important part of this process. All right, looking good little buddy. Fantastic, and let's remove some of the white from over here. Again, I'm not trying to make it too perfect, but I think that looks really, really nice. So there we go. That's how we put white on our subject's face. Notice how we still have the highlights and shadows. Super important, very different just grabbing a white brush and painting it on there. So now it's time to add our black. And black is kind of the hardest of all the colors to do because if you just paint straight black, it's not gonna look like it has any depth because there's not gonna be any highlights in the black. So what we're gonna do is it's a two-stage process. We're gonna start off by painting the black on our subject's face, and then we're gonna add the highlights from the original picture back over top of the black. So we're using the same brush here. We're just gonna create a new layer. Okay, B for the brush tool. We're gonna start painting black here. So there we go, kind of just painting in. And again, I'm going for like a dog design, right? So I, I want it to look like he's a, he's a puppy dog. So again, I wanna just make sure that we stick with that. I'm a kitty cat today, you're a puppy dog. And you, my friend, can be whatever you want to be. All right. There we go. Want to make sure we cover everything. Now, this brush does have a really nice artistic quality to it, but you can see the edges are a tiny bit jagged. So that's why we're going to bring in some blurring later on. It's going to help that effect look more realistic. It's going to kind of match the resolution of our image a little bit better. There we go, kind of come up around there. And you can change this brush size super easy. Whoop. Just by hitting, <laughs> or you can you know, undo it too, which is nice. You can change the brush size super easy just by using the open and close brackets. There we go. And I think this is really nice that it has like a hand painted quality to it. Cause that, you know, that's the whole idea, right? behind Halloween, it's getting creative and having fun. There we go, looking good. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more right here on the nose, a little bit of a arch. Okay, then we gotta have our little dots here for the little whiskers. As you can see, I've got mine 
Again, I made my outfit today. <laughs> my outfit. I made my face using electrical tape, which is kind of fun. Because we didn't have any, like, um, human-grade face paint here. I really didn't want to, like, use a chemical <laughs> Sharpie or whatever. All right. There we go. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail here. So we're just going to kind of give it, you know, a little bit more like whisker type of effect there. We're going to do the same thing here. There we go. Looking good, little buddy. There we go. We'll do something under the eye here. Perfect. Now, of course, you can use all types of variations of this brush there. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Fantastic. I want to do the same thing right under this eye. This is so cute. All right. And coming up here, make a nice big brow and kind of have it come up there. All right. And then same thing up here. Going to come right in there and create a nice brow above there as well. All right, that looks awesome. Now, we talked about doing the black in two different steps. First, you just wanna paint the black over top of your subject, and then you need to get the highlights from your subject and put that back over top of the black. So how do you get the highlights from your subject? Well, first thing you wanna do is just make all these layers invisible. So we'll just turn them off, and then now we wanna use channels to just select the highlights of our image. So we're going to go to Window and down to Channels. There we go. And I'm going to take my blue channel and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. So click and drag your blue channel down to the new channel icon. You'll see a blue copy. And we're going to hit Control or Command L for our levels. And I'm just going to make my darks a little bit darker here. There we go. Now by making my darks a little bit darker, we enhance the contrast but anything that's light is gonna get selected and that's exactly what we want. So you can see the lighter areas will become selected if I hold control or command and click on the thumbnail. So you can see now the light areas become selected. You can also click on these little marching ants right down here on the bottom. So basically what we did is we used our channels to make a selection of the highlights of my subject. So now what we're gonna do is go back to our layers. We're gonna turn all these layers back on, okay? I'm going to make a new layer and then now with just a regular soft brush, I'm going to paint white on this new layer. So as I paint white on this new layer, check this out. I'm going to hit Control or Command H, by the way. Uh, as I paint white on this layer, it's actually painting with the highlights of my image. So you can see the nose, areas like the lips, things like that. They actually start to become in focus a little bit more and they look like we have the natural highlights of our image. There we go. For some areas, it doesn't need it as much. There we go. But for areas like the nose and your mouth, look at what a difference that makes. Huge, huge deal. Really makes it look a lot more real, and it makes it look like we actually have some face paint on. So we're almost done. It's time for our finishing steps. First thing I want to do, I just want to take this the brown spot, maybe make it a little bit darker. So we'll just bring our lightness down a little bit on that. Fantastic. Now, I also want to take some shadows here and make those a little bit darker. So I'm going to take my curves adjustment layer. OK, we're going to make this a little bit darker. And then I'm going to double click on this and tell this not to be visible in the lighter areas. So we'll hold Alt or Option, click hold uh, from right to the left here and make this not visible in the lighter areas. There we go. So it's just visible in the darks. And then you can see areas like right here, it's going to look way more real. So let's just invert our layer mask. Okay. We'll paint white on our layer mask right there. Okay. Just in those brown areas. And then check that out. You don't have to make it as, as dark, but it's just going to look a lot more realistic. So similar to what we did with the highlights around the lips, we're doing that just with the shadows in the dark areas. All right. This is looking super cool. Maybe I'm going to bring the opacity of this down just a little bit because you can obviously still see all the detail. Fantastic. And now the last step I want to do is just give this a little bit of a blur because it still looks like a Photoshoppy effect, 
we need to blur it in to make it look more like it's part of the photo. So we're gonna use the blur tool for this. Super easy to do. Just create a new layer on top of everything, okay? And we're gonna grab the blur tool. So right here, there's a blur tool. Strength, we're gonna set to 100 and sample all layers. We wanna make sure that's checked. And with the blur tool, you just kind of paint over an area a couple of times and it starts to blur it out. Maybe we'll bring the strength down a little bit. Okay, so you can have like areas that are actually blurred in your photograph. You can then blur them with this effect. There we go. So like the sides, you can see our subject becomes out of focus a little bit. The sides are gonna get a little bit more blur than the front. Everywhere is gonna get a little bit of a blur because we just need the effect to kind of come. There we go. Nice. We just need the effect to become a little bit softer to be more realistic, but we do want the texture of this brush still in there. So that's why we used a brush with a lot of texture in it. There we go. But see how just adding a little bit of blur into that kind of makes it look like it's fading into the subject's face a little bit more. Just makes it look more realistic, less like a Photoshop-y effect. And then for around here, you know, the sides, we just add more of a blur because this picture is actually out of focus in these areas. So we wanna make sure that any type of focus gets matched as well. And this is real great because this is just a new layer. You can turn this off or on at any time. So if you do it too much or not enough, don't worry about it. You can just simply shut this off. So here we go, there's the before. Let's zoom in here, before and the after with that. You can see how it matches the resolution of your image way, way more. All right, we'll just do a tiny bit right here as well. Fantastic, what a cool effect. Oh my God, super cute, just in time for Halloween. Here's our before and the after. So just remember, when you wanna create colors, use a hue saturation adjustment layer and click on that colorize button. You could put any color you want on a person's skin. If you wanna put white paint on their face, open a hue saturation adjustment layer where it says master, go ahead and choose reds, use the eyedropper tool to sample their skin color and then bring the lightness all the way to the top. Then you wanna double click on that layer, hold alt or option and click and drag from the left to the right in the underlying layer in blend if to make sure this is not completely visible in the shadows. And to make realistic blacks, simply grab the brush that's included with this tutorial, paint black over your subject's face, and then make sure to turn all of your layers off except for your background layer, go into your channels, duplicate your blue channel, and hit Ctrl or Command L to bring up your levels. Simply make your blacks a little bit darker, and then hold Ctrl or Command and click on the thumbnail of that channel. Then on a new layer, with that selection still active, just paint white with your brush tool. This is gonna paint white perfectly where the highlights were in your original image, making this effect look realistic. And to finish it off, grab the blur tool and make sure to blend this with your photo. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Halloween. If you wanna get more free tutorials from Flurn every single week, click on that subscribe button right up there. YouTube is gonna think you're gonna love this video. And if you wanna learn even more about getting super advanced in Photoshop, I highly recommend Flurn Pro. Check it out right up here. Thanks so much. I'll flirty later. Bye, everyone.